Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Shalene the Queen coming to you guys with another video of the day in the life of an Amazon delivery driver. Currently, I'm just sitting here waiting to go into the warehouse. As you can see, oh, we're actually getting ready to go in right now. So let me get on and go so I don't get in trouble. Roll my windows down. So I just finished loading up my van. As you can see, um, all my bags are over here. And then I have my oversized over here, mainly on the shelves. And I got some on the floor. But as, right now, since I'm kind of waiting for everybody to get done loading out, I, um, I, I, I sort my first bag. So I, I normally always sort my first bag while I'm just waiting. And that helps me like when I get to my first couple of stops, everything's already sorted. So I don't have to go through and resort everything and take more time when I'm actually on the clock. So yeah, I'm about to sort my stuff right now. This is my bag one. So I sort them, I sort the bag by this yellow sticker right here. And with this yellow sticker, there's a couple of different ways you can sort. Some people sort by this number which is a four digit number, always a four digit number, and they all go in a chronological order. See, this is one bag, one envelope, this is another one. See, they always have that driver aid number. Some people also sort by street and everything, but I don't like to do that because sometimes you go, you start on one street, go to another street, and then come back to that previous street. So I don't like to sort by streets, but I do sort by the driver aid number. And that's how I really get done and do my, um, get my stuff done quickly when I want to. But like I said, today's just gonna be another day in the life. We'll see what we get today. I will talk to you guys later. All right, guys, um, I'm all done with my route. So I know this was really a short day in the life video, but now I'm gonna show you guys kind of the process that we gotta go through when we come back to the station. Now this is just uh, for my DSP. We have to do damage ID, which is just take pictures of the van to make sure we didn't damage anything. And if we did, it's just to hold everybody. It's just to hold us accountable, because we have had some people that would damage the vans and not say anything, and then it would be real bad damages. Like we had one where the top of the van, like the corner of it, was dented, and so when it rained, water got inside. So nobody reported it. So now we got to take pictures every day before and after our routes just to make sure that we didn't damage anything. But other than that, you know, like I said, this was a very short video. I just wanted to guys show you guys like the before and the after. So there's that. Make sure you hit the like buttons, subscribe, and stay tuned.